Right, quick video to talk you through the changes that have recently come in with the angle gear for the FS461. This is the replacement for the FS460 and basically it's an upgrade because there were various um, weak points, shall we say, with the angle gears. They've introduced a greasing point which is there which is usually comes fitted with a security torx nut on it and that allows you to add grease to the angle gear which will hopefully stop it knackering really quickly. Here's the old gear which has no grease point fitted. Another weak point in the old gear is that it's uh, set up with splines that marry with this drive plate which has the four little holes in it for locking and your locking tool comes through there so that goes on there like that splines marry up this cover plate goes on and then your blade and then this washer which marries with those splines but it's uh, not too difficult to actually uh, have the inner and outer splines, the male and female splines, not to uh, line up. And then you tighten it down and the splines on here and the splines in here knacker. With the new one, instead of having splines and being two separate pieces, well actually three pieces, as you have a shim on here which should be integral, that comes off. This is two pieces. And instead of having a spline, you've got these two flats. Which marries up with these two flats. Like that. And then the uh, spring washer goes on there, also has those two flats. So that will not fit on that. Well, I dare say with enough enthusiasm you could butcher it on, but that would be bad. The strimmer guard, which is this one here, is different. The other guards appear to be identical. And the mounts here, these bolts, the same with the same spacing. But here, you've got the securing screw, which on these ones is on the right, the new ones on the left, and it's a little tricky to actually get this to, to shovel down onto the three mounting screws and avoid that. You can see that it fouls with the Iron Faith. Turn it over. You've got a hole in here, and you can hopefully see that you need to get the back of it over the top of the screw and these three lining up all at once. Apart from the actual blade, not the blade, the guard and the head, and the two mounting pieces I've showed you that and the spring washer everything else appears to be identical so that's the differences what we've done is to actually start using these the new part for the FS461 on all our old FS460s as hopefully this will be more robust than the older ones having said that these new ones at under an 80 pound including the VAT and the discount, as opposed to 136 quid for these, uh, 50 quid nylon more expensive. We'll see how it works.